Hi, this is a quick overview of what a hyperdoc is and some quick tips on Google Slides since that's how you make a hyperdoc. Hyperdoc is basically a Google Slide or a Google Doc, but usually a Google Slide that has interactive links that embeds videos and audio and visuals and, and uh, web links in a way that makes the slide or document more interactive. So if I look at this slide here in Google Slides, uh, some of you guys may or may not be aware that you can now embed audio. So if I click on insert, I can embed an audio file. So this could be a narration of the slide or a sounds, a read along. You can embed video and then shrink the size of the video. So I think most people are familiar with that. A lot of people might not be familiar that when I click on the video and then I look in the upper middle panel, format options, I can then click on video playback and I can cue when the video should start and when it should end. So what a hyperdoc lets you do, it allows the slide to become like an interactive lesson. So it can become a, a discovery station, um, it can become an interactive notebook. You know, students can, if it's a copy that the students are going to edit, they can click file, make a copy, and then they can begin to answer directly in the document and then turn it back into your LMS. One of the most popular hyperdoc trends right now is to create a Google slide that's a virtual classroom as a hyperdoc. So rather than be an activity, this is literally all the links and media clicked to different resources, virtual resources in your classroom. Um, there's even You can even extend that and create a virtual campus. So how you do that? So here I have a picture of a room that I want to turn into a virtual classroom. I have text, which I can just highlight and click the chain link to add a link. I have objects, so I can layer objects in front of each other. So this object is the object with what they call a transparent background behind that. So I can then layer them on top, just like any image in Google Slides. If I right click, I can move the order to bring things forward or back, kind of like a collage. And then I can click this object and then click the chain again to insert a link. Now, maybe I have a hotspot or a zone that I want to, when the kids, kids, kids touch that part of the image, it goes to a link. So what I do is then I'm going to create a square or any object that kind of fits the shape that you want. And then I click on, again, the chain, and I turn that into a link. Then once I've linked that object, I want it to be transparent. So I'm going to go to Color Fill up here in the upper middle, click Transparent. And then I'm going to go to Border Color, click Transparent. So when they hover over here, it will take them to a link. So if I show you an example here, each of these here are links that take them to different parts of this image. This is a brief look at my student's eBinder or eNotebook. So this is a template I create, kind of like a hyperdoc. I'll put in some existing information and put in some links, and then I'll have my students click File, make a copy, so that they can then enter their entries like openers and activities and research, and they turn this in at the end of the unit.